Hi everyone, welcome back to the Nail Nails channel. I'm Steffi Fernandez and in today's video we'll be doing a super cute skull design with a few roses and leaves. A bit of a tattoo inspired kind of Yeah, for nail sure. Art. Yeah, super cute. Hope you enjoy this one. Let's get cracking. Okay, so I'm going to go in with one of our beautiful nudes called Pinch, and it's a nice uh, nude with pink undertones. That's gorgeous for this design. I'm gonna apply two thin layers all over the nail, and then we'll start painting our skull. So I'm going to prep the palette before I start painting. Sorry. And I'm going to apply a little bit of Snow White on top of my palette, as well as Serious Black. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> and I'm going to use two more gorgeous colors, which are, what are they called? I've got Devilish, which is a gorgeous red. And I'm gonna just dab a little bit of that on my palette. And I'm gonna be using this gorgeous green called Shamrock. Shamrock. Yeah, I'm reading it correctly. That's a beautiful grid, isn't it? I'm just gonna drop that on my palette. And I'm ready to go. So. I've got my nail queued over here. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a wipe because I'm gonna be painting with white on top of that and I don't want the white to stay in with the residue that's left. You can see the pink over here. So I kind of wanna take it away. So there's no residue left. Okie dokie. So I'm going to start mapping out my skull so it kind of looks like I've got an upside down U shape, which is quite wide. So I'm going just to map that out on the nail. Now don't worry about the outline being too perfect. We are filling in this bad boy. So don't stress. So it's a nice wide u-shape okay and then we're gonna go slightly outwards just a little bit so we've got this layer over here cured and now i'm going to go with series black and just add a little bit of detail on this skull so i'm probably going to be using no i'm going to be want to be painting oh let me just get the triple zero three brush guys yeah i think that'll work better so i'm going to be using serious black like i said and i'm going to start mapping out the nose which looks like an upside down heart the top section of the heart of a normal heart is kind of curved but you have to get it in a bit more okay so there is space between those nostrils i suppose so it's gonna be look like this looking like this i'm gonna be doing this so i've got the nose ready over here i'm going to kind of start mapping out the eyes and they're gonna be like square shaped but rounded in the edges okay so it's going to be like this I'm just rounding the edges 
but truthfully it's like a square can you see what i'm saying yeah it's like a it's not a proper round eye i'm going to be filling that in and i'm going to do the same on the other side i'm going to start painting the teeth um which is probably the hardest bit but i'm going to just start by creating a number of tiny lines once I pick up the right amount on my brush so I'm gonna do just a few tiny lines like so I'll do it on the other side as well now I'm going to continue outlining the teeth So I'm just going to do that kind of curved, don't think about it too much, just don't do it super straight. So I've got the teeth ready and now I'm just going to be adding slightly more detail. So I'm going to be starting to outline the uh, skull a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of detail like maybe here it's starting to look a bit more spooky right it's getting there yeah a little bit of detail here i'm gonna have the um you know how the skull is always cracked yeah there's always that forehead crack isn't there coming down <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna do a little bit here the more you add, the more kind of tattoo you like it will look. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got these little gorgeous tattoos that you have. I should really get a skull tattoo. <laughs> How cool would that look? That would be cool. Okay. So I'm just going to do a few more lines on here. Just to kind of make it spookier. So I've cured this skull and I just think I'm going to add a couple of more white lines in the eye section before we top coat it and add some more color on top. So I'm going to just paint like a um, kind of a L shape ish and just add it in the eye just like so. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I've got this gorgeous layer cured over here of the top coat and I've sealed in the design. I now think I'm going to add some roses. Because you know, you've got to do it right. How romantic. <laughs> so I think I'm going to add one at the top here. So I'm going to start by mapping out a mini kind of U shape or a wonky U shape and then I'm gonna start cupping it from one side to the other it's my two favorite thing roses and skulls mm in one nail do a last one over here so it's quite thick bring it together and then just finish off nicely over here so i've got rose number one done should i do another one row another rose yeah, I'd do another rose yeah. on the bottom, yeah. On the bottom. So I'm going to do another rose then. Drew just likes to work me hard. Mm -mm. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little, tiny rose over here. So I'm basically just doing a ton of C shapes in different directions cupping 
a mini circle that I've painted in the middle just like so. Okay, so our roses are actually cured. I'm only going to add a little bit of green just for the sake of like, you know, doing just a couple of leaves here and there. And I don't know if you guys remember, but in the past I did say that I kind of like to do the leaves in twos and one is always larger than the other one. So I'm just going to do one here. And then a tiny one on top of it. Just like so. Oh, that's it. <laughs> and then I'm going to do another one on this side maybe. On top. Maybe slightly larger. And then a little one on here. Just like that. Do you think we need another leaf anywhere, Drew? Um, you could maybe have one pointing down on that other rose, but this one well, here yeah. or here? I haven't thought there. Yeah. Yeah, me too. So down or up? Oof, it's all about perspective. Mm, <laughs> I reckon. I'll leave that up to you. Yeah, you better. <laughs> I'm going to do a tiny one upwards, just like that, I think. Okay, maybe I'll add two. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah? Maybe it's too many leaves now. <laughs> no, I kind of like it, actually. It's nice. Yeah. I'm just going to... Do that, might add a couple of lines just to bring them in. Yeah, that looks better. Do that here as well. And I'm gonna pop this into the lamp and then we're gonna top coat this one. And there you have it, guys. Look at the final result. I love it. It's gorgeous. So cute. I've only got one thing for you guys. <laughs> no, just kidding. If you really, anyone can rock it. You don't have to be a rocker or a punk rocker or a metalhead. You know, everyone needs to wear a skull in their life. They're just so cute and they're lovely, especially when it's paired with roses and some leaves. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching. And as usual, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next one. <laughs> Take care, guys. That's fine. <laughs> There's the blooper. No, that was a bad burp. <laughs> Do not put that on the blooper.